Watching out for you tonight, recent rainy mm. weather is causing the mosquito population to explode. Health departments ramping up efforts to get things under control. Ray Preston has been checking out the situation on both sides of the river. Well, right now, what you're seeing directly behind me is one of the major reasons, major factors as to why we are seeing such a problem with mosquitoes around some parts of the St. Louis area right now. One health department official says floodwaters, warm temperatures, humidity, and low wind speeds are all contributing to the mosquito breeding problem. On Main Street in St. Charles, we ran into Adam Long walking his dog Katie. He says so far, mosquitoes aren't a problem in his neighborhood. This year it's gnats, lots and lots of gnats in our neighborhood. But I suspect once the uh, floodwaters go down, we'll probably start getting a lot more mosquitoes. He's exactly right. Receding floodwaters are leaving pools of water, turning into prime breeding grounds for mosquitoes. They're really high already for the season. St. Charles County officials say they've already gotten more than twice the number of complaint calls compared to this time last year. Online, they're pushing people to check their homes for standing water, clean out gutters, eliminate breeding grounds, and report problem areas. Mosquitoes can breathe in a bottle cap of water. The health department says for the most part, what they're seeing are not the mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus, but they are starting to show up. But right now it is the nuisance mosquitoes. They're your daytime biters. They bite pretty hard. Um, the disease carrying ones come a little later in the season, but we are kind of seeing them emerge a little earlier this year just because of the weather patterns. The St. Clair County Health Department says pet owners do need to be aware that the mosquitoes that are a nuisance to humans can be more serious to the family pet. Floodwater mosquitoes are also a problem, and the main reason that we are concerned is because the floodwater mosquito is the mosquito that carries heartworm. And your local vet will tell you that heartworm can be difficult and costly to cure. And health department officials say, you know, it's probably really good advice right now to make sure that the family pets are all up to speed when it comes to their heartworm medication. And of course, check again for that standing water around your house, maybe your neighbor's house as well. You might want to remind them. They tell us get rid of that. Again, clean out the gutters, that sort of thing. And then use the uh, over-the-counter uh, but insect repellent as well to protect you and your family. They tell us, you know, with this receding flood water, the problem with the mosquitoes only expected to get worse. Reporting live from downtown St. Louis, Ray Preston News 4.